Alright, so just before we start this video, I wanted to let you know that this is something a little bit different. Myself and Marley decided to sit down and answer some of your questions on Twitter. If you'd like to see us doing more content like this, make sure to drop this video a like and let us know in the comments section below. Alright folks, what's happening is Batchy here and I'm joined today by the man, the myth, the legend. Marley13. Thank you for having me. This is the first video we've done. Ah, it is. Uh, together. We were just saying this before we started. This is the first time we've ever properly sat down and done a video together. Do you want to kick things off with a question? I've seen somebody say, how did you both meet? That's Alright. a good way to start. That's a good question. When was it? What year was it? Do you want to say 2015? It was in Somnia, Scotland, wasn't it? That was the first time we met, yeah. But I think we had known each other on Twitter for uh, a good wee while. That was about six months. But you tended to go AWOL. Like, you <laughs> <thing, laughs> <then, laughs> make a YouTube video and then disappear for a couple months <laughs> and then come back. I was one of the one hit wonders. I'd be like, there we go. Spend six months making a video and then be like... Because I check your comments and people are like, what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> but I'm actually still like that nowadays. I didn't post for weeks. I felt like, where's he went to? He's just disappeared <laughs> again. So, yeah, I think you got in contact with me on Twitter. I yeah, we just talked about video ideas and that. But that's the thing. It's weird that we've known each other for so long and we both do YouTube and we've never yeah. actually sat down and done a video together. So you might see more as now because I've got my, my second channel. Plug. Oh. Batch is going to be on uh, soon. We were meant to film it right at the time. Anyway, but Batch will be on on my second channel soon. It'll be linked in the description. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's that's how we met. And when, when are we plug. meeting next after today? We're filming. We're meeting it. That's a good plug. I like that's that. a good like that. Like that segue. See, see that? That's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. We're meeting all of you at Resonate at the SECC in Glasgow this weekend, October 19th to the 21st. It was almost like that was scripted, by the way. That it just rolled scripted. off the tongue so smoothly. Naturals, absolute natural. And we'll be doing a booth this year. We'll be selling merchandise. Uh, awesome sorts of stuff, meet and greets, taking pictures. Also playing English YouTubers at oh. games on stage. We won last year, 1-0 up to the Scots. And we did we actually win 3-0 overall. 3-0, we beat the English 3-0. So hopefully continue the sweep, uh, hopefully you'll be there to support us. Links to resonate in the description. You can make sure to use code BATCHY or code MARLEY by the way, you'll get 20% off your tickets. I had to actually explain this last time, we don't get paid like for No, no, that's just to help you. That's just, that's just to help you. Use it. Yeah. Tune back in the next collaboration with day when we're both wearing gold chains. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's answer some questions. Silent Co, who's your least favourite Scottish YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Let's get some, let's cut straight no. to the bone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No comment. I'm, go I'm going to say Silent Co for asking that question. I'll, I'll agree with that, aye. Somebody's asking me if I would ever consider becoming a, a pro Call of Duty player. You would think so in my gameplay. Just now. But uh, yeah, considering it. Daniel S asks, who's the better football player? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say me. Oh gonna of course you're me. gonna say you. I'm gonna say me. What has been your biggest struggle as a Scottish YouTuber? It's always the accent. I agree with the accent to an extent, but I'd say it's more the slang. You do quite a good job, eh, like trying to just speak just proper. Tone it, Aye. tone it down a wee bit. But I'm really bad. <laughs> I never tone it down. I was actually thinking about this the other day. Do you, do you know how like people use like like the swearing and stuff in Scotland? It's yeah. like fucking hell. Mm -hmm. Like I can't even think of the non-swearing equivalent for fucking hell. That's how far down the rabbit hole I am. What, would it be like bugger or? <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> Here's a question here for Jamie, I think his name is. Why doesn't the zero point energy of the vacuum cause a large cosmetic constant? Just zoom into your heads for the next five minutes. <laughs> just <laughs> sit here in silence. Is that a Googleable answer, do you think? Oh, Google's just like, <laughs> 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 uh, We'll get back to you on that one. Aye, aye. Uh, who, would, <laughs> who would win in a fight by batches of fud? <laughs> 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 Imagine that being your Twitter name. Eh, uh, I'll probably I'll say you. I'm 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 pretty wee. I'm pretty small. That, that could that could work to your advantage though. Quick and agile. Could. Or I just bring a chip with me. <laughs> Turn up with a gun to a knife, right? Balance the skills. He didn't say you're not allowed weapon, so. What do you do in your free time? So if you're not making a YouTube video, you've got a day after yourself. What do you do? Um, a few people know I'm. A big nerd at Rocket League. That's what I'll play in my spare time. But I will play the new Call of Duty like just now because it's out. I've I've been playing that even when I've not been recording it. It's regular sort of sort of stuff. I've not got any like I've not got a mental hobby like rock climbing. Or, <laughs> or you know, fucking you collect I'll, stamps or something. I'll, uh, what I'll usually do is uh, take the paraglider out. <laughs> um, Go surfing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Normally in my free time. I don't know man, like I'm the same, I just sit and play games. I don't have a lot of free time now that I think about Aye. it. But I don't know if that's quite sad. If anything in my free time I'm replying to comments and messages oh. and Oh you made me look like a dick now because I've not said that. And <laughs> oh, I was thinking looking after the community. Uh, <laughs> pure free time Rocket League. That is quite sad though. Oh you play RuneScape? Aye. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. That's <laughs> bad. Anytime I'm hopping on a call with him, he's like, I'm just hitting some trees. <laughs> Blue Smith asks, why did you both decide to do YouTube? Well at the time I just remember like watching a lot of American YouTubers. Just eventually thought I oh, might have a might have a shot at this. I didn't think it'd ever end up like a full-time job of that. I just thought oh, I want to 
do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I make a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I only ever first got online gaming when Gears of War 3 came out. That's quite late. Aye, that's really late in the game. Like, I'd never played a game online until... Oh, was that 2011? Never played a game online until that point. Not and even Halo? Not even Modern Warfare 2? No, I, even... I, played, I played, like, all those games offline. Like I remember like Sorry. Modern Warfare 2, like I, I, I just played the campaign. I, I didn't I didn't know about the online world man, I was I was sheltered for that. So I remember my first ever recording setup was on like a laptop that was sitting on top so of the it was sitting on top of a kitchen chair attached to my living room. Everyone's TV beginner setup, so like sketchy. Like, <laughs> Here's a good one. Favourite episode of Still Game? Oh. Tough to name a favourite, I'll give you Aye. three. I'll give you three. Aye, well, I I'd say probably two that are right up there for me is Cairds. Yep, that's my first. My or, uh, is it Gear the Night it's called? That's weird. I know my top three. It's Cairds, then Hard Nuts. You know the one where they oh. have the fake sort of. Ah, I don't show. know, man. Like, I always cringe when I watch that episode, see when I see Winston walking. I'm like, ah. Oh. Cairds, Hard Nuts, and then Gearden would be my top three. Aye. I love Gearden just because of the one part with Winston standing at the bus stop. Like that Aye. one clip makes yeah. that episode for I me. Think I always say to folk, um, see if you're trying to ever get someone into still game, I would suggest. For them to watch Gearden because I think all the characters just Aye. have their own, like, their actual like stereotype almost that is played out. The Aye, I think that's and probably Gearden, the best. covers everything. Aye, it's, it's just funny as fuck as well, obviously. If Call of Duty decided to stop carrying on with its franchise and didn't make a single other game, what would you do with your YouTube channel? Uh, I'd probably just cover a whole whole sort of bunch of games. Variety gaming. Variety games, just kind of like. To give you an example, Fortnite. Did I say Fortnite? No, not Fortnite. <laughs> Do you know a channel that I, I love? I think I'm living the dream. He is living the dream. It's Video Game Donkey. Oh, you know, watch him. He could just hop on any game, any have game. a laugh with it, make a video, boom, two million views. Easy. Easy. I think that's the type of channel I'd, I'd try to be. Or Red Dead Redemption Two is coming out. You could click the utter fuck it. <laughs> if anyone's just doing a job that they hate just now and has the money to get equipment to do YouTube, get Red Dead Redemption Two videos. You know, churn them out, get red arrows in their thumbnails. Eventually, eventually one will hit a million views and that'll be you. Life, <laughs> life changed. <laughs> yeah. Did you get slagged for doing YouTube and how did you overcome this? I don't know, like, folk never really knew I did YouTube. For ages. Getting a wee bit later, so a bit older folk about bit ah, kind of no, understanding. I was, well, I was 19 when I started making YouTube videos. And not, like, in school, obviously. No, 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 I wasn't in school. Because that's, I think that's everyone's biggest... Were you at school? Biggest you I was, I, I was 16. Um, when I started, and I was terrified, didn't tell any of my friends. Uh, then eventually left school, went to college, and my friends found out I was doing YouTube after about like six months into it. I think I had 2,000 subscribers. And they were actually dead supportive of it like, at, at that point, but... I see, once you kind of start to get a bit of growth, it's easier. Yeah, I, it, it makes it a lot easier, but I think just in general, like, there's always going to be friends or whatever, there's always going to be folk that are like, like, like me day. I didn't actually get slagged for it, I was just afraid that would happen. Uh, but the thing is, you'll always say the groups of pals that'll always slag you no matter what you do. It's, so. not, it's not like a pure niche or weird thing to do anymore. Uh, YouTube is pretty mainstream now. By the way, talking about getting slagged, I've just realised I'm wearing Call of Duty socks. So, <laughs> bite me. <laughs> 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 just say, bite me. <laughs> bite me. Oh, bite me. <laughs> Since Ali A keeps pussying out for your 1v1 challenge, who will you challenge next? I think I've challenged your man Syndicate to a Call of Duty 1v1. This weekend, whether he accepts it or not remains to be seen. Yeah. You're sweaty though. I know. <laughs> you, <laughs> you always sit there and go like that after you're playing. That's it. Just hands are sweaty. It's, you see, especially PlayStation controllers. We're kind of get off on a tangent here, but PlayStation controllers make my hands sweat like mad. I'm always, aye, I'm always going like that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you could swap bodies for a month with anyone in the world, who would you choose? That's a tough one. Full month? That's a long time. Right, I've got a few in mind already. I'm thinking Conor McGregor. That's the one I was Conor thinking McGregor, of. Anthony Joshua. Imagine just being that built so all the time. You just want to be a fighter. I want to be, is. but I think you want to be someone who isn't. No, I don't want. To, I don't want to fight. I just want to feel pure solid. <laughs> just I can't be walked down like kind of dark streets in Glasgow at night without thinking, God, I could be easily overwhelmed here. <laughs> but it's Anthony Joshua. Jenkins watching his back. Jenkins thinking, but well, if somebody starts, you know, I'll just hook them. And <laughs> yeah, I'd like to be. I'd like to be. Oh. I'd like to be the delivery person. <laughs> like I just eat all they're coming in. Oh no no mate, the three pizzas are for him. Check out this gaff. Marley's new house. That's just a brick wall. Is that actually a brick wall? No. I'm glad you asked though, because that makes it look like kinda... It does, it looks like a brick wall though. Do you want to get right annoyed though? What? Look up at that top left corner right, and it looks anything. It's the thickness of the Aye, wallpaper, it gets... No, it's no straight. It's not the wallpaper that's straight, it's the actual... 
Like sealing. <laughs> the sealing's out of whack. Actual leather couches. Can I hide YouTube money? <laughs> it's that there. Call of Duty's done you well, son. Do you know it was weird though, like the, the, the delivery guy just looked in there and seen the setup. Oh, seen yeah. the camera on the light that he's like, what is this casting couch? Um I so answer the question, whose body would you be at? I think I'd probably pick something like Steven Gerrard. I'm picking Anthony Joshua and battering the shite out of everybody. <laughs> question from Marley about how much of a video is cut in one of your typical longer ones, for example, dud matches where nothing in like this video here. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you recording for two hours? <laughs> I'm usually actually recording for about an hour. See if it's pushing an hour, I actually tend to abandon it because I just feel like it's not happening and I'm not feeling it. And then sometimes I'll play three matches and absolutely like bang it out. Just one, 20 minutes. <laughs> I, no, genuinely right. One time I made a, it was like a 50 minute long video of me using all the snipers in COD 4 and there's like oh, nothing man. I cut out that I played like the games in my life at that point and I was short on time as well. So. That, that felt good. <laughs> yeah. I get excited to talk about that. Did you, did you hear I that? I've <laughs> seen that one. How did Marley feel about the diss track? The Marley 13 diss track. The infamous Marley 13 diss track. What is this diss track? You're, 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 <laughs> you're, you're in a corner now. You've not got any way to wriggle out of it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was great. I thought it was... Don't mean this in a bad way, but it was made a lot better than I thought it'd be. Like production <laughs> value, both uh, with the actual song and the music video. It was one of those things though, like, I, I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to try and do it the best I can and for, for the last what year and a half you've just denied knowledge of <laughs> its does, existence it just doesn't exist I know to answer your question I enjoyed it um, it's just kind of a joke because like I'd I was never going to respond, I don't, I don't know where you fucking found the time to like <laughs> it took learn me ages. how to it took me ages. music and that so I just adopted that strategy of just avoiding it You ever thought about dropping your own diss tracks? Do you know I was, there was a part where um, there was a lot of people wanting me to respond and I was like Kinda, kinda have to know. And then it died down a bit and I was like, I can get away with this. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you've said that though, everyone's just gonna keep harassing you. this track scene ever comes back, like, M -M 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 -K. Cause, cause when you brought that out, it was like, ah, it was right at the hype metal, yeah. So if that ever comes back proper, maybe, but, um, I did, I did consider it. I had visions though of you like just approaching some like DJ bad boy or that, do you know what I mean? Just getting a proper no. actual DJ involved. Somebody who's a proper rapper or something. Do you know, it's funny you say that, though. I didn't speak to them, but I could have potentially got an actual rapper on it. Really? I was thinking, <laughs> bring some firepower. <laughs> and they just been like, we just going, yes, yeah, this track. Oh shit! In the Spotify charts, <laughs> and I'm like, I can't even look, I can't even go in public can I, and can't compete with this. <laughs> like, it's funny to think how many uh, people who are just fans of like my regular Call of Duty stuff who've seen that video pop up in the recommended videos who like <laughs> didn't know who I am. Holly, who's this is Marley? <laughs> 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 What's worse, Batch's hairline or Marley's eyebrows? I'll leave that to you to decide that one. Yeah. Alright, I think I found a good one to end on. It's in the final series of Still Game, just that how one. do you want it to go out? Basically, what, what, do, you, what do you want or what do you think? I've, I've, I've heard murmurs whispered that uh, one of the two of them, Jack or Victor, is going to die in this series. I reckon so too. That's what I think. I think that's how they need to end it because if they didn't end it that way, there's scope to come back. If they want to end it, yeah. end it, they need to kill one of them, I think. So I think, I think, I, if you're going to end it like that, I think Victor dies. Victor. I think Victor dies and Jack moves to Canada. That's my prediction. I was going to say, what if the two of them just emigrate to Canada? Oh, they could, they could both just move away. But and then, then why would they do that? Plane crash on the way and they just kill them see, you, need, you need to, <laughs> you need to think like, what, what would they, because they would never move like away from each other, because they're not going to do that. If someone's saying, like Gary, you need to put, you need to put a hundred quid on what's going to happen. I would say Victor dies. Victor dies. Aye, hundred quid. Victor, Victor dies. dies. That's probably this. Aye, that's probably the most likely. Must be. I can't imagine how tough it'd be writing a finale for Still Game. <laughs> Jesus. Aye. Well, I mean that's the thing. though, it was such a good series, but it's got to this stage now where it's like, where do you go for? Time to end. Aye, it's time to bring it to an end. I think. And that's alright. That's okay. God, I'm getting quite sad now. Do you want to end this uh, <laughs> 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 uh, Anyway, that's been a Q&A with my man Marley13. Make sure to go and check out his channel if you're not already subscribed. There's a link to his second channel in the description where he does what he do. Real life stuff. camera stuff like this, Batchy will be on it, Cruiser. Yeah. Make sure to check that out in the link in the description. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to drop it a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.